Suppose T is an element of the set of all linear transformations from F2 to F2 defined by T that maps um, all ordered pairs of W and Z to um, ordered pairs of minus Z and W. Find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of T if F the field equals um, C the set of all complex numbers. Okay. Right, to solve this problem, we begin as follows. So we start by saying let T of W and Z, which equals lambda of W and Z. Okay, so what is the meaning of all these? So this means we remember that T is... um minus z and w, so that here we shall put minus z and w, like so, which equals lambda of w and z. So what is this? So this actually obviously tells us that minus z and w minus z and w is actually equal to is equal to lambda w lambda z like this right from that we're able to see so that implies that what we have is that minus z is equal to lambda w and w is equal to lambda z, like so. Now, if you have to call this one equation one and you have to call this one equation two, we can then proceed to say this implies that we can then say put, put two into one, put two into one, minus z equals lambda. Okay, so w is lambda z, so we have lambda z which means z equals lambda squared z. Right. Well, we note that at this point, z is not zero, because if ever it would happen that z is zero here, w is going to be zero as well. If z is zero, w becomes zero in equation two, and that means we have a zero eigenvector, which is not the case. So we can divide through by um by z getting lambda squared equals that which means lambda is plus or minus i plus or minus i okay these two are actually what you call the eigenvalues eigenvalues right so these are the eigenvalues and it remains for us to find the eigenvectors so how do we get the eigenvectors. So we get the eigenvectors as follows. Right, so for us to obtain right now what we call the eigenvectors. Eigenvectors. So, um, would have therefore that from this point, for example, at the point that we have um, z, z is lambda w, okay? If z is lambda minus z, excuse me, minus z is lambda w, and that means that z is minus lambda w. So we have two cases, for example, for, 
for lambda equals i, we have that z equals minus i w. And if this is true, we have that then, we have that then we have the following. Then we have the following. Right. Um, it follows then that we have, for instance, the eigenvector wz or w and z becomes um, w and z is minus i w vector out w one minus i one minus i okay just writing lambda there but it should be i so we have one minus i Right. Similarly for lambda equals minus i, because there are two eigenvalues, it will follow therefore that that z, which is equals to minus lambda w, you substitute lambda equals minus i in there, giving us i w. Then the Eigenvector W and Z would be W. Z becomes I W, which becomes a W into one and I. And uh, now the conclusion therefore is that hence the eigenvectors The eigenvectors are, are two of them. They are one minus i for lambda equals i. And the, so you have one and minus i, but the one minus i eigenvector corresponds to lambda equals i, and we have the other one, which is 1 and i for lambda equals minus i. OK, in which case, therefore, we are done with solving the problem because the question was find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. We have seen that the eigenvalues are plus or minus i, and we've seen that the eigenvectors are one and minus i for lambda equals i, and the I, other eigenvector is uh, one and i for lambda equals minus i. So thanks everybody, um, goodbye to you.